years ago. If you lived in Homestead, Florida in 1992, Andrew is a name you will never forget. Just like in 2005, if you lived in the New Orleans area, Katrina. The military started naming storms after their wives, their girlfriends, but none of these names were made public. So in 1950, everything changed. Several storms formed out in the Atlantic about the same time. It created a lot of confusion. So the U.S. Weather Bureau said, okay, let's start naming storms. And they actually started by using the World War II alphabet. Abel, Baker, Charlie, Dog, Easy. But this created confusion as well because every year the storm names were the same. It wasn't until 1979 that we started alternating male and female names. We recycle that list every six years. In the Atlantic Basin, we use English, Spanish, and French names. No storms are named after a particular person. In fact, you can't request a storm to be named after you. That entire process is handled by the World Meteorological Organization. A storm name will be retired if it is too costly or deadly and it would be inappropriate to use it in future years. In fact, since 1950, there have been nearly 80 storm names retired. And what happens if we go through all of the storm names? Well, it happened in 2005. We ended up going to the Greek alphabet. So that's what's in a name. It took a long time to get here, but just like each individual name, each storm tends to have its own personality.